Businesses across Maryland will be allowed to reopen later today. In Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County, Carroll, Cecil, Frederick, Harford, and Howard counties, they are all planning to fully enter phase two of the Roadmap to Recovery plan and lift restrictions at 5 o'clock this evening. Governor Hogan made that announcement that the state was ready for phase two earlier this week. Now, WMR2 News Megan Knight is live outside Towson Place Shopping Center in Baltimore County with more on what to expect. Megan, I'm wondering if one of the challenges is going to be that 50% threshold. A lot of these businesses have been closed for so long and so many people want to get back out there. There could be some crowds at some of these places tonight. Yeah, that's right, Christian, and those are some of the things that these stores have to consider before they can open at 5 o'clock tonight, but certainly uh, they are putting in that prep work so that they can open, just like this nail salon behind me here that has been closed for months now and can finally open come 5 o'clock tonight. So this is all part of stage two of the governor's recovery plan as we slowly crawl out of the COVID-19 pandemic. So what does that exactly mean? Well, it means that personal services like nail salons and tanning salons, tattoo and massage parlors, they can reopen, but like you mentioned, they need to have 50% capacity uh, inside the building and they can only take appointments. So walk-ins will not be allowed. All other non-essential businesses can reopen. Uh, retail stores can now be at 50%. Earlier, they could only have up to 10 people inside their store at any point. Now they can go at 50% and places of worship can hold indoor services at 50% capacity, but they are strongly being encouraged to continue to do outdoor services if at all possible. Now, County Executive Johnny Olszewski says that he decided to follow the governor's lead going into stage two for a couple of reasons. One is that progress is being made in key health metrics for COVID-19, including the positivity rate, which is now below the state average here in Baltimore County. And he says that jurisdictions opening at different times just creates a lot of confusion for people. So it's just much easier to align himself with the governor. And L. Gross, who's the owner of today's Image Tanning in Parkville, is thrilled that the county decided to do that. And she's very eager to welcome back her customers. A long to-do list, but we've been working all along getting things back in order. Um, some new paint job, new bulbs, new uh, everything just looks fresh. We are so excited. We cannot wait to see everyone. We miss all of our customers. It's going to be great. Yeah, certainly they'll be excited for five o'clock to roll around tonight. Now, what stage two does not include is restaurants cannot have customers come inside the building to dine in. They can do the outdoor dining. We've seen a lot of them setting up uh, on the sidewalks, even in their parking lots. And here in Baltimore County, if a restaurant needs an outdoor dining permit, they are expediting that process for them. Your local gym and fitness center, that must still stay closed as well. And malls will continue to stay closed unless a store has outdoor access. We're live in Towson. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR2 News.